which had given him or handed a report to him with an aim to increase university entry qualifications across the country. Under the previous grading system, according to the ministry, the five compulsory subjects included English, mathematics, Kiswahili, uh, two sciences, and two others. The shift, therefore, stems from concerns that were raised by stakeholders against the previous system being seen not to favor students whose subjects did not fall within the mandatory cluster. And that is, at the moment, what is happening at Moy Girls in Eldoret in the county of Wasagesho where President William Ruto early morning, just a brief of what has happened, was briefed and given a summary of the outcome of the 2023 Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education Outcome. Among the first speakers was the Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya National Examination Council, David Njengere, who talked about, besides the number of candidates who sat for the examination, the registration for this year's examination, which he said will be starting on the 29th of January, that is in about 21 days time, and it's set to last on the 29th of March, that is the two month window period, which he said it will be ample enough for the registration of candidates for CAPSEA and the KCSC examination, 60 days, which he said is enough for the education stakeholders across the country, both private and in public, to help in the registration of the candidates. <clears throat> also taken to the podium was the, the Chief Executive Officer of the Teacher Service Commission, who talked about the very critical component of teacher redistribution across the country, and talking of the shortfall at the moment of the teachers needed for the junior secondary schools across the country, talking about a number of 42,117. She says of the required 99,045, the Teacher Service Commission so far has on its record and paper sheets 56,928, therefore shortfall of 42,117, which she said that uh, the Teacher Service Commission is focused on with overwhelming priority and that they should be absorbed as well. Talking about also additional teachers until the deficit is breached and committing before the stakeholders that uh, the commission that she leads will be focusing on that. She also highlighted the more than 100,000 NEC officials and examiners for that matter. And to be specific, pointing out the 29,876 examiners across 40 centers who marked the KCSC examinations of 2023 and also others who spoke, included the chairperson of the Education Committee, Julia Smith. We now get back to Moy Girls High School in Eldoret, the county of Wasingishu, where the function is underway, and let's listen. Moy Girls, Eldoret. This is the very room that uh, we used to have our assembly in. It was still a very small school those days. And today I've come accompanied with my cousin, who was always my classmate, so I was telling her, let's go back to our old school and support Waziri. So Waziri, thank you for actually having the wisdom to decide to announce the results, not only from my hometown, but also from my former school. Thank you. And for me, uh, this announcement of results is very dear to me. Because, uh, like Honorable uh, Kamara said, that we should encourage, and that is my message, to those who will receive their results today. I congratulate you all for whatever results you will get. But most importantly is to tell you that whatever results you get is not going to define you. I must tell my own story. When I 